and welcome back to my new topic i am sanim khan studying in 5th standard at present time up today i have brought a special topic for you that is the exercise of introduction to physics means the first chapter of the famous book concepts of physics written by hc verma as we know who hc verma is he is a very great indian physicist and his book concepts of physics it is even known as a bible for engineering students so today i brought the exercise of first chapter that is introduction to physics so first i am going to solve the first two questions and in rest of the videos we'll solve the rest of the questions so now let us start our question so question number first is find the dimensions of linear momentum frequency and pressure that is linear momentum frequency and pressure we have to find out its dimensions so now let us find so first we'll start from the first that is linear momentum and in our earlier classes we have already studied the formula for it that is p equals to mv where p is our linear momentum m is our mass and v is our velocity so according to this formula we'll solve this so this question so mass this can be written as mass into velocity okay we have it mass into velocity here see here we can notice one thing very carefully that here mass is already a base quantity but velocity is not any kind of base quantity so what we'll do that we'll rewrite, rewrite this formula that is mass into now here velocity we have so it is not a kind of base quantity so we'll write this velocity according to the formula of velocity that is displacement divided by time so mass into displacement displacement divided by time okay so much we got and here we can notice one thing mass is already a base quantity time is already a base quantity but displacement see displacement can be also taken as length which is a kind of base quantity so this we can write in the form of mass into length divided by time okay this we have mass into length divided by time where all three we have as base quantities okay so this we can be written in the form of m l later here we have to bring this t as numerator but it is already as denominator so what we'll do that it will convert its power in negative symbol that is m l t power minus 1 and as all dimensions are expressed under brackets okay this is the dimensional formula for our linear momentum and here why it happened power minus 1 this is very important concept that actually for bringing it as numerator we have converted its power in negative symbol but we didn't have it so whenever power is not given we take power as 1 so here we had power as 1 mlt power minus 1 okay this way i have dimensional formula for p okay but remember this is the dimensional formula for our p means linear momentum but dimensions are 1 1 and minus 1 okay dimensions we have dimensions 1 1 and minus 1 why 1 1 and minus 1 because here see which powers we have here power on m is 1 l is 1 and on t it is minus 1 so serial is so in series it is 1 and 1 and minus 1 dimensions for our linear momentum now let us solve next okay so next is frequency okay that is frequency we have studied in earlier classes v equals to 1 divided by t where v is our frequency 1 is a pure number kind of pure number okay and t is our time period which can be taken as time okay for finding out dimensions so here remember that all pure numbers are dimensionless we cannot find out dimensions of pure numbers so we'll neglect this value now what we have to do directly we have to bring t as a numerator power on t is 1 because nothing is given well take as 1 so it will happen t power minus 1 okay this is the dimensional formula and dimensions we get here okay dimensions for our frequency are minus 1 only we have one dimension for it that is minus 1 okay now the third is now third we have as pressure okay in earlier classes this also we have studied p equals to f divided by a okay where p is the pressure f is the force how much force magnitude of force that is applied over any area and a is the area over which any for kind of force is applied so for this we have for this first we'll find dimensions or dimensional formula okay dimensional formula for force later of area and later we'll divide them and we'll find dimensional formula for pressure and later we'll 
shall find dimensions so for force first let us find out so f equals to ma by second law of motion you can newton second law means force equals to mass times acceleration so this here mass we have as base quantity but acceleration not so we'll write it in this form velocity by time okay velocity divided by time that is the formula for acceleration here we have two things two quantities as base quantities but velocity not mass and time are base quantities but velocity not so we'll write it in this form equals to mass into displacement so i'm going according to the formula of velocity by time okay displacement by time this happened with the quantity velocity into one time we have here so into this time so time into time time square means t power 2 and mass into displacement where displacement can also be taken as length so we have it m and letter t power minus 2 t uh, here we have time into time t power 2 so ml t power minus 2 we have converted it as numerator so this we got dimensions of it and as we know area area formula is length squared so and length is already a base quantity so its dimensions will be also l squared okay area then we have area equals to l squared okay they are represented under brackets now we'll find of pressure okay so for finding out pressure let me raise this <laughs> so now we are going to find the dimensions of pressure okay first we will find the dimensional formula okay for pressure that so what we'll do here that it will be m l t power minus 2 okay this is the, the this is the dimensional formula for force divided by l power 2 means l square okay now we'll try to divide them but notice carefully that any here any num so here l square can divide only to l okay if that is ma if mass has to divide any number so it can divide only to mass it can even multiply only to mass multiplication and division only to the itself okay itself quantity we can so uh, length here we have length here we have we'll try to divide them in l power minus one times so we have it m l power minus one t power minus two so the dimensions of pressure we have here on mass power is one then so dimensions are one minus one and minus two dimensions of pressure now let us solve the second question this is our first question completed so the difference between first and second question is only this of the physical quantities of which dimensions we have to find out okay in both we have to find out the dimensions okay so, and the difference one is this that actually in first quantities some basic quantities are which already we are familiar but now we'll study about second question so those physical quantities so second questions find the dimensions of angular speed omega angular acceleration alpha torque tau and moment of energy i okay so now we are going to solve from first that is angular speed means omega where formula for it is given theta 2 minus theta 1 divided by t2 minus t1 let us write it here omega equals to theta 2 minus theta 1 upon t2 minus t1 okay here theta means angular uh, sorry angle of projection and this theta so this is why theta is always dimensionless so we'll neglect the value of theta because it has no dimensions so we'll write only we'll find out dimensions of t2 minus t1 so this can be written as okay delta theta upon delta t okay and delta value we can also neglect it is dimensionless so only we'll find dimensions of t means time okay that is time so that we are getting we'll have to bring it as numerator power on here this is one so t power minus one this we have for first okay this our so dimensions we get equals to minus one because power on t is minus one so our dimension is minus one and this is the dimensional formula now here second is angular acceleration means alpha where the formula for it is given omega two minus omega 1 by t2 minus t1 okay so here for omega for delta omega just like we can write in this form delta omega by delta t where delta value we have to neglect because it has no dimensions so we'll write simply omega divided by t okay so here for omega what we have we can write it in this form t power minus 1 dimensions of omega already we have got 
divided by t and remember when this t power minus 1 will be divided by t okay we can also what we'll get t power minus 2 okay this we are getting t power minus 2 why t power minus 2 we can also try it because when t power minus 1 here we have after that if we'll bring, try to bring this t as numerator so we'll get into t power minus 1 this also and t power minus 1 multiplied by t power minus 1 so here we here we have 2t okay here we have two kind of time so power 2 okay t power 2 and those are in my negative symbol so we get a t power minus 2 so the dimensions we are getting here okay the dimension is sorry it is power minus 2 okay dimension here on alpha is power minus 2 and the third question okay third is torque means torque and here the formula for it is given equals to f dot r and we are familiar with f dot r means the dot product so that is its values f into r cos theta where theta is the angle between f and r okay we have studied dot product this is the rule of dot product so here we can notice one thing that cos theta it is dimensionless so we'll find dimensions only of f and r where f is the force and r is the radius so here we can get f so f v f value we have f dimensions i'm not finding out here you can also find out f dimensions we have m l t power minus 2 and r dimensions r can be also taken as length so it is simply l now we'll try to means multiply them so we have it m l t power minus 2 okay multiplied by l okay so here see here l cannot be multiplied by any other physical quantity l will be multiplied only by l itself so l into l l square we get it m l square t power minus 2 okay so the dimensions that we are getting okay so the, the dimensions that we are getting for torque okay the dimensions are 1 2 and minus 2 because the power on m l and t are 1 2 and minus 2 okay now let us solve the fourth and the last question so the fourth question is moment of inertia actually as we have studied about mass in our earlier classes in kinematics now in dynamics we study at the place of mass we study about moment of inertia okay so now let us study about moment of inertia so second fourth moment of inertia is generally denoted by i formula we get it m r squared means mass into radius squared okay so much we have where m is already a base quantity r squared can be written as m as l squared because r value can be taken as l so we get it equals to mass multiplied by length squared because r value can be taken as length so mass into length square we get it and after that uh, length square can be written as l square okay we get dimensional formula ml square and dimensions finally we get it equals to 1 and 2 why 1 and 2 because powers are on m it is 1 and on l it is 2 so this was my today's topic thank you